So in this episode we leave Newcastle, the beautiful beaches of Newcastle and head to North Stradbroke Island for Christmas 2017. So this is one of Jack's vantage points, he likes to have a look around at what's going on and I stir him about the cows and he vigorously looks around for them. So on my way up to North Stradbroke Island, Ayers Rock was there, when I came back it was burnt to a cinder. Traveller ahead. So I've just parked the van and we're heading with my backpack on and Jack towards the ferry for our adventure on the boat across to North Stradbroke Island. And as usual, Jack's in a hurry to get where we're going. He has no idea where we're going, but he's always in a hurry to go somewhere. So we bought our tickets. Jack gets on for free. I think it was $20 return. We're just waiting for our ferry to come in. And to relieve the boredom, I decided to annoy Jack with a little twig. And as of course he bites well every time. So this is where our ferry comes in right there. Um, they have two ferry, or I think they call them water taxis, not too sure. So the plan was to be up here for five days, stay one night on the island, Christmas Eve, and travel backwards and forwards and stay on the motor home at Cleveland where I'd parked it up. And this is one of the car, one of the many car ferries that goes backwards and forwards to the island. Uh, fairly expensive for the motor home, so I didn't go over there with it camping and the campsite was fairly expensive, it was just as easy to stay in Cleveland and travel backwards and forwards for the other four days. So as you can see it's quite a busy area for this time of the year and there's our ferry, the third one along, we're waiting for it to come in and dock. I was quite impressed with the skill level of the drivers of these boats. They really knew how to move them around in tight spots. So here we are backing out of the ferry terminal. And of course, Jack's on board and gets attention straight away from one of the staff, which he loves. But I don't really think he likes travelling on a boat. He's really seen to numb down and I'm just... After spending five days going backwards and forwards on these ferries I actually enjoyed the time to sit down and quiet and just take in what's around me. But yeah, it, it was an enjoyable trip backwards and forwards in these two different um, water taxis. The water taxi ride takes about 25 minutes, but probably shorter in that boat we're looking at it, it end up passing us. that boat again going across the bow of our water taxi. This is what Jack did on the trip there and back except for the odd time he got a little pat. Um, yeah I don't think he really in, he's got sea legs that's probably the quietest I've seen him around a whole lot of people. 
little bit of workplace health safety issues there. That seemed to be up and ready to get off the boat as quick as he could. Also got a bit of attention from one of the other water taxi users. And here's this skill level I was talking about of the ferries um board tax has been able to be manoeuvred fairly well I, uh, that was well done I think as you can see Jack very excited to get onto dry land board taxi leaving with a load of people going back to the mainland and It'll be back probably an hour or so with a fresh bunch of people. So we arrived on the island, Jack's having his first piss, arrived on the island heading towards the house. Jack's a little bit excited to get to the house. We're staying in. So this is Ray and Barb's house on the island. North Stradbroke Island was staying at. So you slowly get into island life and sit back and relax. So here's my dad checking his stock on the stock exchange. Jack getting into island life straight away. My mum's dog also. My brother-in-law went to what call him with a head like that. And my sister in the background and then my mother. So all the cousins and their partners went off to Blue Lake for a swim on the island and this is them coming back more by the dogs. How was it? Oh, it's all right. it was a mission to get there. Yeah, it was a it was three kilometre walk to get there. It was amazing. Yeah. Your mum and your mum are over there. Just have a so my sister and my mum coming back from a swim over on the little beach there. Now for this next bit of footage, the son's been waiting to get their mother back for a long time. Take your teeth out. Funny. And of course I had to freeze frame it there. <laughs> David. Oh that's a video you realise. It's not a photo. You won't hold it against me. No, I'll put it on the net. So and of course um, the washing doesn't do itself. So I head back to Cleveland to do all, about 10 days worth of washing. One of the laundry mats. Very clean, nice facility they had out at Cleveland. And then back to the island for a drone fly. So this dunnage on North Straprake Island where the ferry comes in, that's one of the two ferries I caught backwards and forwards to the island for the five days. Also at the public wharf there, got a couple of yachties living on their boat, um, moored for the for the night. So this is the combination of two drone flies. Here we have it at really low tide.
virtually right in the middle of the shot is where we stayed so you can see the tide goes a long way out but it's still a beautiful island to visit and here we have the same beach just from a different view at high tide so yeah beautiful beautiful place to stay this is where most of the locals stay on this side of the island the other side is where most of the tourists go So the house in the middle of the shot on the corner there is where I spent five days at Christmas with the family. And right at the bottom of this shot you can see the edge of um, the caravan park that you can stay, one of the caravan parks you can stay at. So this drain fly shows you how close we were to the water. Just a quick walk across the grass and straight into the water. Not at low tide of course. So a big thanks to Karen and Pete, my sister and her brother-in-law for letting me stay for the five days and a big thank you to Ray and Barb for, for yeah, their beautiful home that I stayed at. So I bid farewell to my family, cousins and their partners for a great Christmas stay. Now it's to head back to Newcastle to catch up on all the work that's been building up. And of course give Jack a quick stretch of the legs and a chasing a bird and run around before the long drive back to Newcastle. So we hit the road for about a, I think it's about an eight and a half hour drive from Brisbane to Newcastle. Yeah, lovely Christmas. So one of Jack's favourite positions in the motorhome is in between the two front seats. He lays there because it was summer. He's um, laying there without his bed, but when in winter I put his bed down there and he curls up and goes to sleep. I don't really think he likes travelling on a boat or in the car, so he tries to sleep it away. So thank you for watching our video. We really appreciate it. Come join us on the journey, either through Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, or our website. Yeah, without your generous support, we would not be able to produce these videos. So please go to our Patreon page and support us, or go to our YouTube channel and subscribe. Thank you. Run free and dive into the sky. Hear the wind crying out its prayer. While we're so ashamed to be alive